what is John Dunning's OLI paradigm and why is it so important and uh, foundational in uh, the theory and practice of international business? Well, John Dunning was a very important scholar in England uh, who in 1970s uh, put forward um, what he called an eclectic um, OLI, ownership location internalization paradigm of international production. In essence, he put together a tool that answers three most important questions about foreign direct investment and you could say MNCs as well. Um, so the O part, the ownership uh, advantages part of uh, the OLI paradigm um, answers the why question of, uh, of FDI. Why is it that multinational firms are able to cross borders um, and um, compete effectively with our local firms in foreign markets? Um, the L part, uh, the location advantages part of the OLI paradigm, um, answers the question where would uh, the multinational corporation invest uh, in its foreign endeavor? So it's about, it's about the choice of location. Um, and the I, the internalization uh, advantages part of the OLI paradigm uh, relates to how um, will it um, have fully owned or majority owned uh, foreign operations um, as a foreign direct investment, um, or will the MNC choose some other uh, form uh, such as licensing or franchising some of the non-equity entry nodes? So the beauty and the strength of the theory is that it addresses three important questions that often um, are of concern to managers and companies expanding abroad. Uh, what is it that actually makes you competitive abroad? What are your unique ownership advantages, such as brands, technologies, intellectual property, perhaps some um, institutional advantages, such as your corporate culture or leadership? Um, then where you should expand, selection of markets, and that is often driven uh, by the characteristics of those markets. Is there enough demand there? Is there attractive uh, um, labor force that would be reasonably cheaply priced and would be quite productive? Um, or would there be some uh, potential natural resources there that could uh, help with your expansion? Uh, so the where uh, part uh, of the FDI or any MNC decision in an international um, consideration and markets, and the last one, what would be the actual form uh, of uh, that uh, foreign investment uh, decision, um, if it's an investment at all? So uh, do you want to have full ownership of, of that foreign operation? Um, are you able to somehow um, sell your um, ownership advantages, such as uh, your brand or your uh, groundbreaking patented uh, innovation uh, through the open market? Um, to uh, a foreign party. Um, so I think uh, this, uh, this theory, while it might be accused of kind of like merging a little bit too much from other full-fledged theories, such as the internalization theory, um, um, it gives you a full toolkit uh, to, um, to analyze uh, many of the value-adding activities of multinational firms um, that occur across borders. Finally, these three uh, conditions uh, that Dunning put forward uh, for explaining the pattern and form of uh, uh, international um, value added um, activity of MNCs also need to be consistent with the overall uh, company strategy and, uh, um, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, some of the companies uh, uh, will engage more in um, say strategic asset seeking um, FDI uh, in the knowledge intensive industries or uh, potentially uh, companies, MNCs from uh, emerging markets that, uh, that are in need of uh, some of the um, groundbreaking technologies of brands. Um, so uh, you also uh, need to see the OLI factors and the configuration um, as something that, that needs to align and link uh, to um, the particular firm and its own um, and a worldview and, and approach uh, to doing business. Um, um, so altogether, um, I think uh, a good understanding of 
what makes you really competitive and unique, what are your um, firm specific or ownership specific advantages, um, where is the appropriate location uh, for your um, uh, foreign value added activities, and when it's appropriate to internalize to uh, majority or whole ownership uh, of a foreign operation, these three uh, aspects of the OLI uh, give you um, a, a firm grounding and firm foundation for uh, making uh, international uh, investment or um, uh, other decisions that MNCs have to take.